this one is even bigger. But again, we want to use this idea of doing simple, uh, simple boxes. And we actually have a couple of them. This is one is simple, and this one is simple. So let's start with the conclusion. So it's not s. So we say if s is true, not s is false. 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 If s is false, not s is true. 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 OK, well, that was quick. So when I looked at these, we saw each of these were false. And so we know, oh, those could be counterexample rows. You might think, oh, well, why didn't you go and do these truth values? Well, because there are a lot of them. Not well, and, and let's just, let, you know, these are easy to do, so let's take care of the whole column first. And what we know now is, oh, okay, these rows are now all okay because they have a true conclusion. And that means we don't need to look at these boxes. So now all we care about are these, the, the premise boxes on the first four rows. Okay, now, so let's start with looking at not u, premise 3, and that it's going to be easy to calculate. So if u is true, then not u is false. If u is false, then not u is true. If u is true, then not u is false. And if u is false, then not u is true. Okay, so now we know, do we know any of these rows are bad or okay? Yes. We know that this row and this row are okay because on each of these rows there's a false premise. And to have a row be okay, all you need is a false premise. So now we know, okay, these are both okay. So this is OK, this is OK, this is OK, this is OK, those rows. And these two rows are OK. So the only two rows that might still be bad are these, are these two rows. So good, we're making progress. OK, now, so now we're going to need to find out true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Well, let's go to column 1 because this is the second premise, and this is the first premise. And this one, again, is going to be easier to calculate than this. So let's start here. Okay, so we have t is true, negation t is therefore false. So we have, it's an if, so if true then false, that's false. Oh good, now we know this row is uh, okay because it has a false premise. So we're done with this row. We don't care about the truth value of this sentence because here we have a false premise making this row okay. Let's finally look at this last row. So here we have s is true, t is false, so negation t is true, so we have if true then true, so true. Good. Okay. So now it comes down to this last box. If this box is true, then we're going to have all true premises and a false conclusion, and therefore we will have a, uh, a bad row. If this box is false, then we'll have a, this row will have a false premise, and therefore this row will be okay, and therefore all the rows will be okay, and the argument is valid. Good. Okay, so let's do it. So this is an or, and this is an or. So this is an or, so we have false or true. False or true is true. This is another or. We have false or false. That's false. Okay, this is a conditional. So we have if true, then false. If true, then false is false. So this premise is false. So what do we think? Is this argument valid, or is it OK? Well, it's valid if all the rows are Oh, uh, the argument valid or invalid. The argument is valid if all the rows are okay. The argument is invalid if there are any bad rows. So we have to ask ourselves, are there any bad rows? Well, none of these four rows are bad because the conclusion is true on all of them. These might be bad rows because the conclusion is false. Okay, but look, here we have a false premise, so this is an okay row. Here we have a false premise, so this is an okay row. Here we have a false premise, so this is an okay row. And here we have a false premise, so this is an okay row. So those four are okay. We know the bottom four are okay. And the argument is therefore valid. Let's check. Okay. And there we go. So that's how you do it. Uh, you just check to see uh, which it, each row is it valid. Excuse me. Each row is the row okay or bad. You want to do so strategically. So you want to do the... What does strategically mean? It means calculate the columns that have easy, that are quick to calculate first, and get the information from those, and then look at the, cal the columns that take longer to calculate. And in this case, column 2 is the most cal complicated one, column 3 with premise 3, and column 4 with the conclusion are easiest, so we looked at those first, 
and then we went to premise one, and then finally, only when we had to, did we look at premise two right there. We only actually had to do one row of premise two. Okay, good. So, bad row, okay row, invalid, valid. Go with the simple, uh, what simple columns first, complex columns later because they take longer to calculate. If you have any questions, please let me know.